Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, today's video is going to be a very short one, yet very interesting and very specific, focusing on the PSDD round of Z Associates. Yes, many people have been asking about this particular round over WhatsApp, over mails, and particularly in the comment section, they wanted to know about more, uh, more about this uh, like PSDD round, that is the problem solving deep dive round. This is something that has been newly introduced by ZS in the on-campus procedure to screen off the candidates as a screening round, extra screening round. Uh, I have come across candidates and they have shared their experiences about this PSDD round and I am going to uh, share their experiences or the type of questions that you can expect in a PSDD round. If not the exact question, at least the type of questions that may be asked, what is the span or duration that you will be given to solve those questions. Now before I go straight away into the topic that what are the questions or what are the type of questions or what is the time span, I would like to uh, tell you that I have made this WhatsApp group as a common experience sharing platform where ZS candidates can help each other, can communicate with each other. I am going to share the link of the same in the description box. So go to the description box, click on the link ELZS Associates group that is Engineered Learnings ZS Associates uh, as a common platform of experience sharing or type of questions that may be asked in ZS. You can talk among yourselves, join the group. I am also going to share important uh, information in that particular group the case studies the audios regarding the same because many people have been like over the past week i've received about 200 emails if i'm not wrong uh, and i've tried to cater all of them i've tried to reply to all the emails uh, sending them the audios and the relevant material that's available with me i've tried to reach to all of them um, i don't know uh, if i've been able to reach to all of them because at least whatever messages has been in my view, I've tried to reply to all of them. And this common platform is going to be a platform where I'm going to share uh, uh, at regular intervals some materials regarding ZS, whatever I get. Uh, and I will try to help you with the procedure. I may not be able to reply to all of the messages uh, that will be asked, but I will keep on updating about the new changes and the new procedures through this YouTube channel. So subscribe to this channel as well as in that WhatsApp group and you will be able to communicate among yourselves about this procedure. Like if somebody already has given the interview or somebody is having an interview and somebody is having an interview the day after, so he or she uh, can share his or her experience in that group that this was the, this were the questions that was asked, not the questions specifically but the type of questions and uh, the other person appearing the day after will be mentally prepared for it so it's a common uh, platform uh, of experience sharing moreover who are watching this video who are interested in core companies or other companies interview company interviews if you want to prepare for PIs which was the primary purpose of creating this channel engineered learnings there is also a link in the description box itself about uh, this particular thing uh, so it's EL company interviews uh, just go to that WhatsApp link and join the group if you are interested in company interviews, the GD procedure, the HR procedure, the HR questions, common HR questions or the core questions that are asked generally in the chemical engineering interviews particularly. So that particular group is for that. Another group is for GATE 2021. So whoever inter is interested in GATE 2021 and is wanting some materials regarding the same or uh, might be interested to talk with, interact with each other, the other GATE aspirants, go to that group and join that group. So three, three links have been shared in the description box. Go and join the group whichever you want to whichever you are interested in i will be creating other groups in uh, near future as well uh, a cat group will be created soon uh, working on that a uh, few more videos maybe on cat will be coming up soon now going to the psdd round what is the psdd round exactly about the psdd round is a problem solving deep dive round it's a mini case study round now this mini case study round what does it exactly do it gives you a mini business statement. Now, many people are confusing up it up with the aptitude round. It's not the aptitude round. It will happen after you have cleared the aptitude round. It's the second round. For some, it is the third round because apti, then video proctored round, where you will be asked guesstimates and HR based questions. And then comes this um, PSDD round. So PSDD round is basically a mini case study round, not the case study round. Now, many people are asking me, were asking me that I already had uh, given this um, uh, PSD round, why am I going to give the uh, case study round? Why am I asked to give the case study round once again? The case study round is different. The PSD round is different. PSDD is a mini case study problem or mini business case problem where you will be given about, now some people are saying it's four to five questions. For some campuses, it was seven to eight questions. All of them being MCQ types, multiple choice questions. And depending on a business case, with some uh, bar diagrams, some charts to determine data, mostly qualitative on your business ethics or your decision making abilities. 
and uh, partly based on quantitative calculations as well. So what I want to have an example of both the cases that qualitative and quantitative question that might be asked. I'm going to give an example of the same like uh, this one business case which I have also shared in the comments of uh, one of the comment threads uh, where this PSDD round was asked about. Uh, Suppose a business case is given when I was working with PepsiCo India, what was uh, what happened was they had three manufacturing sectors in Punjab, Pune and Calcutta and they had to supply all over the uh, all over India. So it's like an FMTG industry has to supply in every corner to every retailer to every wholesale market. So if your number of orders are known, supposedly in all the 29 states, the number of orders are being jotted down or are being given and the, the transportation cost between two places are given. Like if I manufacture in Punjab and I have to supply in Haryana, uh, particularly this retail shop, this is the transportation cost of supplying to that wholesaler or to that retailer. And if I supply the same material from Calcutta to Haryana, this is going to be my transportation cost. So it's a transportation optimization problem. So you have to decide how many units you need to manufacture in each of the manufacturing unit to sell in the market at an optimum transportation cost. Now the total number of units to be sold will be given. The transportation cost between two places will be given and you will have to optimize the transportation cost, minimize the transportation cost rather uh, to jot down the exact distribution of the manufacturing units. Like if I have to produce 100 units of a particular chips packet, suppose it delays, I will produce 20 in Pune, 15 uh, Punjab and 13 Calcutta because most of my sectors uh, retailers are near Punjab so my transportation cost is minimum there these type of MCQ questions will be there that where will I uh, like make the maximum number of units so the answer will be Punjab supposedly depending on the transportation cost the bar graphs the pie charts that are given depending on the transportation cost you say it's Punjab which is the least manufacturing unit Pune 20 units supposedly so these are the questions that you need to take and being uh, uh, coming to the qualitative type questions, you might be asked about a uh, like a SAP managing system. Now, what happened was in PepsiCo India itself, the dispatch of trucks, the record of each of the units that are being delivered in each of the trucks is kept through a SAP network. Uh, now SAP is a company which maintains records of companies, critical records of companies or particular units coded. In, uh, in in particular codes so for a particular unit for a particular chips they had a particular code like supposedly Lay's uh, Tomatino Tango TT Lay's Classics Tomatino uh, uh, Lay's Tomatino Tango 5 rupees with 20% discount this kind of a code so L T T 550 this means Lay's Tomatino Tango 5 rupees 50% discount. Through this code, you can actually jot down how many uh, chips packets of Lay's 5 rupees with 20% discount and Tomatino Tango flavor has been de delivered. And you can keep a record of how many have been dispatched through the trucks. So this kind of system might be asked about. You will not be asked exactly to describe the system, but you will be asked a qualitative uh, like optional systems that should I go for SAP, should I go for manual interpretation of the same, should I go for a TPMS that is transportation management system, uh, what kind of exact system should I go for to optimize the entire thing. Uh, supposedly you need to maintain a warehouse record. I was hearing this one guy's interview experience, he said that he was asked a warehouse record that is particularly how many material has been dispatched from the warehouse how many has come from the warehouse so these type of things these are business decision making questions through a mini business case problem with some quantitative data may be given and you need to answer about four to five questions in 45 minutes span now some say it's seven to eight questions in one hour some say it's four to five questions in 45 minutes Depending on the difficulty, the question uh, number will be set definitely. And uh, this, I think, will conclude the discussion about the PSDD round and the fuzz around it. So this is all about the PSDD round. If you liked it, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel. We'll keep on bringing more videos like this. Thank you very much.